Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. It's Nathania time, and uh, back in the day, we didn't have CDs and DVDs and floppy disks. We had tapes. Well, I had a BBC Micro of a floppy, so mm, some of us had tapes, and... Um, Obviously, you probably are old enough to have seen these, or you'll say, oh, that's so retro. And game software came on tapes like this. And this is an actual Sinclair in-pack uh, copy of Oh Mummy. So that's the perfect tape to try this with. It's not the tape that came with it. And uh, this is actually a relative modern one. I think I bought it in uh, Asda. Look, it comes with a modern AC uh, type adapter. So we'll put that again on the side. Now, if you recall, we have a three pin plug to interface to. So I pulled the schematics and went round it and I found this, duh, duh, duh. And it's not my camera that's blurry, it's just the print. But it's basically saying out is one, uh, ground common is two, and in is pin three. So what I've done, and I'm gonna show you right there. If you recall, I had these Mega Drive DIN connectors, but I've chopped it. I've chomped it away with my side cutters. And I'm hoping uh, we can see there that pin one is this one on the left, the top one is pin two, and pin three is this one on the side. So pin two is the common, that one. That's all we need to know. You only need to know where the common is because you're just going to swap some leads around if it doesn't work. And leads we are going to be swapping around today. I've got a Pro Signal. I bought a lot of these. I'm going to have to buy some more because I use them for so many projects and I always chop them up. <laughs> What I do is these are basically stereo to stereo connections and it's just going to measure it out. It's about a metre, was it 1.2 metres, something like that. And you can see just about, if I curl them around, if I chop it there, it's the perfect length really to have a pair of leads. And they are going to be on two separate wires. It's not a big deal, is it, for us? So I'm going to chomp them right there. Now I'm not going to make that same mistake I made last time by... Uh, not having all of these things in the right bloody place at the right time. So I'm going to push that on right away. First things first, get that on there. You don't want to have to mess around with that later. If you do think you're going to need some heat shrink or anything like that, fish those on now as well. So we're going to pull these apart. And we've got quite a lot of wires to deal with annoyingly because we are, have got the two sets, but not too big a deal. So you'll see, because it's a stereo pair, I'm going to give it uh, quite a generous, probably centimetre and a half there. There we go, that's what you want to see. So all of those brassy coloured wires are going to be commoned up, and each pair of these are going to be common. So we're going to join that red and the white one together, and we're going to join the, this, these outer brassy wires there. I say brassy, it's copper. It's copper wire. What's wrong with you today? I'm trying to shake that migraine. That's a problem. Shaking a migraine. We're going to do the same for these. Now, one set is going to be the input, one set's going to be the output, and the. That was alright, just. I went quiet there because I was just wanted to grab something off because I went way too. You can see there I've gone way too aggressive with this and I've taken off all the shields, all the insulations, all everything. They say the future's out to get you. You know that I won't let you fall. Whatever happened to the Hoosiers, eh? Do you remember the Hoosiers? They were good. I do like the Hoosiers, but uh, I don't think they've... Uh, lasted the duration. Okay, now that's all the twists done. Got our little bit of solder here just to the side. I'm just gonna try to touch these up a bit. You can see, just perch them wherever you can. Because these aren't just tinning, we're actually joining. So I've, I've given them all a little twist together where I can. Actually soldered it to the clamp there. now nice and tidy now what we've got here is a benefit you see because we've actually got loads of extra pins here 
we don't want to use all of them, but we, we can actually solder to more if we wanted to and then bridge them. So it's kind of nice to have the option. I don't think we're going to need to do that. So let's just solder. There. There. My phone is going mad today. You might have just heard that. It's the old Discord. And if you haven't joined the Discord, maybe you might want to consider it. We uh, do talk about such things as this and other interesting things. <laughs> other Discord services are available in your area. I should warranty that as well. We Interesting conversation is not always available. Okay, look at that bad boy. That's looking nice. That's looking nice. You're looking smart. Gillette, the best a man can get. It feels to me like I'm running out of the dried frog filter pills. Oh, oh, that. Oh, Discord again. Dag, damn it. Shut the hell up. Ah, oh, burnt myself. Bloody thing. Turn off those phones. Bloody nightmare. What's your view, by the way, on giving children phones? I'm like, nope. I'm going to nope that right now. So they can be slaves to their phones like we all bloody are. No, it's not happening. Okay. Now, that... Maddy fan. So you can see, I'm going to zoom in again, and just in case you're not sure why we've done that, we've paired these up from each end because this is a stereo cable. So the outer copper is this part, and the red and the white wires are those two bits. So what we've done, we've effectively made that like a solid piece, so there's only these two things. So it's a mono. We've monofied it. So then all you've got to do is Pop this back on the right way round. And that's that really. We're not uh, using any... There we go. We're not putting anything on the outside there. We're just leaving it as is. Again, if you've got some decent crimps, you'll do a better job than me. But I'm just going to give them a little nibble, a little pinch with this. I'm trying to escape, but... That's good enough. And then <laughs> try not to let it fall apart. I tell you what, I might have to put some. Uh, I don't know what you called it. You used to be able to buy this lubricant, oh, a bit of washing up liquid or something might help. That you used to be able to buy for these sorts of things because I don't remember it being so tricky. Okay. I think it's twisted. I think they've become twisted in there, that's why. Okay. It's reassuring though, I was really tugging hard on that uh, cable and it didn't come apart, so. Get in there. There, nicely done, nicely done. And then, let's just give it one last quick test on there. Excellent. I've taken the effort of moving the camera onto a tripod and actually fixing the exposure so the screen should look nice and light. I'm noticing in my camera TFT screen there is a moiré pattern here, so I'm hoping that that's not too bad for you guys at home. I'm I, not much I can do about that, I'm afraid. So I've got the Nathania now connected up to power. You can see that's my RGB cable we made on previous video, and this is the new tape player cable. I actually buzzed it out and I labelled it up correctly, so we have the phones and the microphone, as in audio out, audio in, let's, let's put it that way. And I have a few tapes, got a blank tapes so we can try recording onto, and I've got a copy of Oh Mummy. So we're gonna try to go Oh Mummy. Just gonna pop that in. I think that's the right way. 
Yes, it is. And what we need to do now is hit load. Is it this one? Nope, wrong. Wrong shift. Load. There we go. And we'll push play. And hopefully, it won't take too long. There we go. Oh, mummy. And you can see it's picking up the data from the tape because the the border's going all fuzzy. We're really getting there now. Come on. I can hardly wait. My fingers are twitching in anticipation of playing Oh Mummy. Now, if I recall, the Spectrum version isn't quite as good as the actual Amstrad CPC version, but it's not bad. I think the CPC version, when you run around, you left a dot, 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 dot every time you moved. Whereas in the Sinclair one, I think it only does all the dots when you traverse the entire length of a block. That is the type of quality trivia you get on this channel. Whoa. Okay, I think we'll turn the volume down a little bit. It's good though, isn't it? Having the, t the sound coming out of your telly box. Right, play P. Um, do you wish to change them? Yes, why not? So let's do up is K. What? 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 It's gone crazy. Why? Why K is up, down, M is left and X is right. That is bonkers now. I've defined them in a crazy way, apparently. Let's have a go anyway, because we're not really going to play through too much. There you go. Very O oh, mummy like. And the picture is so rock solid. I mean, I don't think I've seen my any of my spectrums, especially like my plus two, which I tried recently. Um, certainly isn't this stable. Makes me wonder if my plus two is actually outputting composite. I thought it was a RGB cable, but now, now I'm less convinced because this is really good. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, mummy. We've seen, we've seen that. Now it's time, of course, to write a program and see if that's any good. So I'm going to take a blank tape. This is a 90 minute tape. Look at that monster. That's a whopper. Full of tape in that thing. You could probably store a massive Pirate ZX Spectrum Games library on that. So we're going to do 10. Um, we're going to do the standard test that you would do on any system. Duh. <laughs> Oof. The back office was here. No, I'm not going to. I can't be bothered. Enter. 20. Go to 10. Oh, and I think I'm going to do 5. Border 4. Boom. So that's our program. Now, I'm not going to run it because I want to save it first. Uh, so what I'm going to do is click Save. And then I'm going to call it TBOS. Oh, look at that. I've got a B O. Oh, it's me. I. It's as I'm pressing it. This is flexing under the BBC Master it's sitting on, and I'm doing a double tap. Unlike trying to shoot zombies, a double tap is no good in this scenario. So I'm going to hit record and play, and I'm going to wait for the tape to, you know, do a la couple of laps of the sort of twisty thing, the reel, and press go. So it's not a very big program, it should save it pretty quick. Now there's no tone uh, adjustment on this tape player, so it could be a bit of a problem for us, but I'm going to type now, uh, where's load? No, that's let. Mm, oh, J, it's load. Okay, so I'm going to rewind the tape. And then I'm going to do that, load, hit play. 
So hopefully we won't have to adjust the volume. My worry is a little bit that a pre-recorded tape will be at a certain volume and we've adjusted the volume control accordingly for that. Whereas this recorder, we've got no control over its recording levels. Although look, program TBOSS. Okay, so I said okay, it's running. So it's loaded rather. Now we're gonna hit run. Booyah! There we go. Absolutely fantastic. So I can't be bothered to drag this over to the bench. This is all working now, but I will show you. That's the setup, the back office. So the tape is playing, it's recording. Um, that's everything we could want this to do right now. We've got the cable sets all finished, power supply is tested, picture is as stable as you can get for one of these things. It's absolutely rock solid, I'm impressed. Um, so I'm going to put this all back together now. Next video, we're gonna do the full unboxing. We're gonna see the case it came in, the joystick it came with, the tape, all of the bits and bobs, and actually go through it, test it, as if we were in Moscow in 1981, and our parents just got us this, and we're gonna see the full Soviet Nefania experience. As ever, thank you for watching. Ooh.